Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today I want to show you how you can get the most out of your Fronius Solar Inverter by maximizing your self-consumption. Power is quite expensive to buy from the grid, yet if you have surplus power, that solar power you've produced but aren't using, you don't get paid much at all for it. If you're not going to be paid much for the power you've produced, it's in your best interest to try and use this power yourself by maximizing your solar self-consumption. With a Fronius inverter, there's a few things you can do to achieve this, starting with the Fronius Data Manager card, like this one here. The Data Manager card is installed inside your inverter and allows it to connect to the Fronius Solar Web Monitoring Portal by Wi-Fi or a wired network connection. SolarWeb is a free service from Fronius and is a great tool as all the information from your solar power system will be saved and presented in an easy to understand graphical interface. Another great benefit is that SolarWeb can be set up to send you email alerts of any errors the inverter may have, may have so you can sort out any issues quickly, which means your system will have as little downtime as possible. With a data manager card connected, you'll have all the information about what your solar power system is doing. But to take this information to the next level, you want to combine it with data about your power consumption. And to do that, you need a Fronius Smart Meter, like this one here. The Fronius Smart Meter is installed in your switchboard and collects all your power consumption data and displays it on the solar web portal so you can get a good idea about what power you're using and when. And when this information is combined with your solar power production data, it highlights what you can change in your consumption habits to maximize self-use, such as having the pool pump running a bit earlier or turning the washing machine on later in the day. Here's an example from our office. As our office fridge isn't open after 5 p.m. or before 6 a.m., we've recently set it on a timer so it turns off at 5 p.m. and starts up again at 6 a.m. Here you can see the fridge load pulling in and dropping out all night long. But when we install the timer, you can see how our nighttime standby load has dropped substantially. Just that one little tweak is saving about $100 a year on our power bills, as now the fridge is running on free solar power about 95% of the time. I wouldn't recommend ever doing this with a fridge in your kitchen at home, but it's certainly a possibility for any storage fridges and freezers which are rarely opened as if they're not opened and are relatively full, they tend to keep their temperature quite well when turned off overnight. When you have a Fronius Data Manager card and Fronius Smart Meter set up, there's a great little function that you can use called the Fronius Energy Management Relay. It's a function on the Data Manager card that can be set up to automatically control loads such as pool pumps or hot water systems when certain conditions are met. Say for example you have a hot water system that has a 1.8 kilowatt element. We can set it up so that when the inverter sees that 1.8 kilowatts of power is being produced surplus to your consumption, it automatically turns on the hot water. And if surplus drops below a set amount, say 1.8 kilowatts, it'll automatically switch off, ensuring only surplus solar is used to heat your water. We set this all up through our special control box, like this one here. It is a three position switch that you'd normally leave on auto to run automatically via the Fronius Energy Management Relay. Or you can turn it off to turn the load off altogether. Or a bypass mode, which bypasses the Energy Management Relay and turns a load such as your pool pump or hot water system on full time. You would use the bypass mode if say you wanted to clean the pool or if you had visitors staying over and needed more hot water than usual. It'd also be helpful if there was ever a problem with the inverter and the energy management relay wasn't running properly for some reason. As this bypasses it altogether. The energy management relay also has a function to set a minimum runtime per day, which is really important for loads such as hot water systems. As if you have a miserable day and your solar doesn't have enough surplus power available, you still want hot water. This function works by setting a minimum runtime per day and a start time to trigger this function. For example, it can be set so that if the hot water hasn't heated for 3 hours before 3pm, it'll automatically be turned on to run for however long is still required for the system to run for 3 hours. This is important as it ensures you don't end up having cold showers. If you're using the energy management relay to control a pool pump, 
The number of hours it runs on a miserable day isn't nearly as important. So for a pull pump, this feature could be left off. Unfortunately, at the moment, the energy management relay can only be used to control one load. So either a pool or hot water system, but not both. However, you could have the pool pump connected to the energy management relay and use another device from Fronius to control your hot water called Ohm Pilot. The Ohm Pilot is used for resistive loads which are pretty much heating elements as used in traditional electric hot water systems and things like heated tower rails and underfloor heating. When any surplus power is available at all, even as little as 10 watts, the Ohm Pilot will send this surplus power to the resistive load it's connected to. So you don't have to wait until the whole 1800 watts of surplus is available as with the energy management relay. Whatever surplus power you have will be utilized. This is a great way to use your hot water system a bit like a battery to store your surplus power for later use as hot water. Another great benefit of solar web with the Fronius smart meter that's worth mentioning is that it gives you valuable information about your power consumption in relation to your solar production. This information will help you choose the right size battery in the future, which is yet another reason why the Fronius smart meter is a fantastic addition to any solar power system with a Fronius inverter. So you can see by the things we've covered that your Fronius inverter is quite a capable piece of equipment and with a few small additions can really help you maximize your solar self-consumption, which in the long run will save you even more money on your power bills. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it helps you get the very best out of your solar power system. And if you like what you've learned, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more helpful solar power information from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions.